Kali here, hope you're doing well as always. Um, for today's video I wanted to do something different, not fashion related, and I wanted to do a makeup look. But since I'm not a professional makeup artist nor a beauty guru, I wasn't really sure if you know doing just a fall makeup tutorial would be the right kind of thing to do. And so I decided to do a little get ready with me. So basically I just filmed this makeup look and um, after that, I'm just going to show you my outfit, what I chose for this fine and sunny fall day. And I really hope you enjoy. As always, give it a thumbs up if you do. Let me know what you think in the comments. And subscribe if you haven't already. And I see you in my next one. And without further ado, let's jump in. So, at first, I'm going to tie back my hair because I cannot uh, do my makeup like this. We go. It doesn't have to look beautiful. Just stay out of place. I already applied moisturizer all over my face and the first thing I'm doing for my makeup routine is apply foundation. For that I'm using a little sponge like the Beauty Blender. This is from Real Techniques. Love it. And I'm just taking my foundation and dabbing it all over my face like so. Just a little bit everywhere where I want it. And then I'm um, taking the damp beauty blender or sponge and just dabbing it all over my face. Sorry guys if I'm looking down because down there there's my mirror. Do, do, do. Just blending it nicely everywhere. Making sure I get in every corner of the face and don't forget any part. I've always used to use a foundation brush, you know, like those um, flat foundation brushes. But I have to say, now I'm way more a fan of the Beauty Blender because it's just super easy and I don't know, I just feel like it gets the job done super nicely. And yeah. when I do my foundation because I mean it's the base of everything and I feel like if you have a nice foundation that the rest just magically goes with it that's just kind of how I feel and I mean you don't want it to look cakey you don't want it to look I don't know you don't want to have you know like a line here so always make sure to go down as well So, I think that's good. My next step is concealer and I use the Yves Saint Laurent Touche Eclat concealer. It's my favorite, it's so great, it's so good. And it's not only a concealer, it's also a highlighter, so it makes your eyes super bright, it makes your face look highlighted, basically. <laughs> and I just apply it under my eyes, like so. that you know like V shape and then I use the beauty blender again but use the flat part there we go I also dab a little bit of the highlighter on my eyelids just what I have on the beauty blender and uh, that's that. I'm a big fan of first doing, you know, my foundation, then my concealer, then moving on to eyes and the rest because, I don't know, if I apply the concealer last, like after I've done the mascara and everything, I, I just, I don't like it. And everybody has a different routine. This is my routine. This is how I do it. You can, of course, change it up, do your thing. But I like to first do the foundation and afterwards the concealer or highlighter, whatever. And then move on to eyes. So now to the autumnal part of the makeup look. And for this look today I'm using a fake um, Urban Decay Naked palette. So this is just a super cheap thing I got in, when I was in Spain. It's super old as you can see. I've used it quite a lot. I really like it but it's not you know the best thing to use. There are better things but I mean I have it so why not make the most of it and 
I'm going to go in with um, a, you know, coppery kind of color just as a base tone all over my eyelid and for that I'm using a Art Deco brush. Getting in there, applying it all over, just to you know have a base tone, I guess. I mean, I'm not a beauty guru or makeup artist or whatever, but I'm always kind of winging it, I guess. One more. There we go. And next, I'm gonna use a little bit darker, like more reddish tone in the grease. And also bringing it down to my lash line, so kind of like a V shape, I guess. I don't know if you can see it. And then last but not least, I'm gonna put a more shimmery color just in the middle. Like that. There we go. I love eye makeup, but as you probably could tell, I'm not the most eye uh, makeup y person. To complete the eyes, I'm gonna do a winged eyeliner. I love liquid eyeliners or in general an eyeliner on the eye. I almost wear it. I wear it almost every day and the one I'm using is the L'Oreal Super Liner Extra Black Gloss. And like I kind of I always shake it down so you know you get some product. And then what I do is just I start how I do my eyeliner. I basically I mean I'm gonna take a palette here and just putting it in the corner, like in the inner corner, and then just dragging a fine line out, like so. And then, I don't accentuate it all the way down, I make a little flick up, like that. And basically it's, you know, the, I, that's what they always tell you in those makeup tutorial videos, but you look where your eyebrow ends and then you go down, so it's a line here, as you can tell. And then I just connect these two. And then you could leave it like this, but I always like to have it a little bit thicker, so I will connect a little bit more. Just so I have a thicker line. And there we go. That's one eye done, let's do the other. So there we go. They're not perfectly matchy matchy, they're not exactly the same, but they don't have to be. I mean, it's just an eyeliner, and from far away, they will look the same. Eyeliners can be super tricky and some days I'm like, I redo it five times and it just still doesn't work and other days like today, luckily, I do it and it's perfect. And I guess if you're not the best at doing your winged liner, just look at different videos. There's so many tutorials on that on YouTube and just have a look, look which technique seems to be, you know, the easiest for you. So, I'm, I mean, this is what I just kind of assembled of all the tutorials I looked at and I was like this is kind of a good technique for me so you can just totally look at different ones check out which one you like and just practice because practice makes perfect the last step on the eye front is mascara and I'm using the Lancome Hypnose Doll Eyes Mascara and I used to be a super fan of this but now I have to say I don't like it that much anymore I think the normal Hypnose one is way better but I have this one now, so let's go with it. Again, I'm gonna use my little mirror here. And um, as you can probably tell, I'm not using a lash curler because, let me tell you, I had a horrible, horrible accident one time 
when I was still in high school and I curled my lashes, you know, like normally, and then I turned my head and forgot to turn my hand, you know, so I ripped out all the lashes on one eye and I've never used a eyelash curler ever since because I'm so afraid. And the thing is I have like the most straight lashes ever, so if I only wear mascara and nothing else on the eyes, you could say I'm not wearing any eye makeup at all, but, you know, I want to keep my eyelashes at least, so I'm gonna not use a lash curler. I haven't, I've been too scared to use one, to be honest, ever since. Next part are the eyebrows, and I've always used to use, you know, like just a super easy peasy cheap pencil. Um, like eyebrow pencil and then a friend of mine got me this eyebrow palette I guess I mean it's still just from the drugstore nothing fancy I've never been into powders I've never been into eyebrow powders but as I said a friend of me, mine got me this and I just thought let's try it so and I've been using it quite some time now and I like it I don't know if the color is the perfect one because as you can probably tell, my eyebrows are really dark, they're almost black. And even though it matches, you know, the crown of my hair, the rest is blonde. And I don't really like, I used to always have darker eyebrows than my hair color. And now I'm always taking the lightest eyebrow shade there is. Just because I, I kind of like it more to be, um, you know, light, I guess. And I'm just using, you know, I have this angled um, brush that I think is supposed to be used for um, gel eyeliner, but eyeliner. But I'm using it for my eyebrow, and I just go in and fill it. And what I like about, you know, the powder is that with the powder, it still looks way more natural. I think. So with, I don't know if you had that too, but with a pencil, I always had, you know, super, like, just drawn and real thick. And the powder just makes it look, you know, filled in, but still real natural. And that's what I like about it. So, there we go. Filling it in, filling it in. The lighting is kind of weird. I never usually do my makeup here, I always do it in my bedroom, but there is no place to set you up there, so I'm doing it here. Da, da, da. There we go. Okay. Um, so the face is almost done, but before I'm gonna continue with contouring and blush and all that jazz, I'm gonna be putting on some lip balm because I want to use quite a dark red lip today. So in order to prep my lips for that, I'm using the Lancome Nutrilef Nutrix lipstick, whatever. Just a super soft lip balm. And it's just perfect, you know, to prep your lips if you're using like a dark or a very matte color as well. Now onto the rest of the face after we've done the eyes and the eyebrows. And I've just started, you know, doing the contour thing. I've never been that big of a contour girl. I wasn't sure whether to get just, you know, like a palette, you know, a contour palette or getting a stick and I just felt the NYX Wonder Stick was the safest and cheapest way for me to go, especially since I haven't been that much into contouring and I don't know if you can tell, but I've used it up, like it's done. There's nothing to get out of it anymore, well, almost nothing. And um, I've been kind of looking around what to get because I want to try something else as well and there is a really really nice contour stick from Dior, but I don't really know if I want to spend, you know, like a ton of money for a contour stick. And Clinique has a contour stick as well, and that is even money-wise, and you know, like what you get, I think it's the better version for me because 
you do get only one contour stick because here you have like a highlighter and a So my stupid effing camera just decided to not record the rest of the makeup look. Yay for that! Uh, I have no idea why because it recorded everything but after 20 minutes it just stopped. So I'm just gonna redo it and just have double the makeup in my face because I just feel like it's so sad not to have it done. So. Ignore that I've already taken down my hair, but yeah, let's do it. So, as I already said, using the contour stick, and I just apply one coat here and one coat there, just, you know, under my cheekbones, like so. I've also applied two here and on the sides of my nose, but I'm not gonna be bothered to redo it. And then I'm taking the Soeva 109 Flux Face Paint Brush. And just, you know, rub it in like that. Ugh. So that's gonna look super horrible because I've already done everything, but let's just go with it. Ugh. So, so contour. And now let's move on to the fun stuff, which is the bronzer and blusher. And for that, I'm using the Hourglass Ambient Light palette and I'm using the bronzer which is called Luminous Bronze Light. I have no idea whether you can see that or not. And this blush which is the Mood Exposure Lightning Blush. Just, you know, using a simple drugstore um, brush and putting it right over the contour. And then just, you know, blending it in little bit everywhere and then I'm using the same exact brush nothing more to do the blush so there we go but now I look like a clown I'm so sorry um, last but not least I use the NYX soft matte lip cream in Copenhagen on my lips just you know like so and that's it. That's basically my whole makeup look for my face. So for the outfit part, I thought I'd do it vloggy style and show to you like this. It's way easier for me. So yeah, um, I'm wearing this super cute blouse that is from Zara. And I showed it to you in my last video. I just love it. It has those super cute, you know, like kind of Victorian-esque details. Um, here all over it's super cute and then it has those flared little sleeves like this and I've paired it with Topshop Jamie super ripped jeans they're a little bit more bluish than I wanted to um, but they're super cute they're ripped and I love me some ripped denim and that's just how it looks all together and then I'm wearing my ASOS booties that I just got recently so just to show you my whole outfit, how I would wear it, you know, when going out. Put on this nice little hat that is just, you know, like a felted woolen nice hat in grey. And then I'm wearing a H&M coat that I've had forever. And it's just, you know, a great coat, but it has leather sleeves. And then just, you know, my favorite scarf at the moment that I also showed you in my last latest haul. And... Uh, my bag, which looks a lot like the Chloe Drew bag, I know, but it was only 50 euros and it's from an Italian brand, I don't remember, but I will put it in the down bar. And it's super cool, it's real leather. Yeah.